Today I'm going to show you how to mount a set of antlers on a camo light uh, skull here. First thing we want to do is go over some of the tools that you need. You need to have a drill, you need to have some five minute epoxy, a uh, tape measure, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a hacksaw to be able to cut your antlers off. The first thing you want to do is you want to measure the width of your antlers from point to point so that you can get your spread right on your skull. This one here is seven and a half inches. Okay, first you're going to cut the antlers off at, this, at the base of the antler at the angle below the uh, antler bar. Now that you have your antlers cut off, what you want to do is you want to take them and test fit them on the bases of the uh, antler burrs on the skull to make sure that they'll fit properly. You want to take a good look at the angle because that's the angle you're going to drill your holes so that your rod will go into the center of your antler and also line up at your antler burr. Make sure you got the proper angle for drilling your antler hole. Test fit your antlers again, take a look at the appropriate angle, and drill your antler. bolt through and test fit your antler and make sure they don't fit on your antler bar properly. Next thing you do is you mix your epoxy even parts. Part A. Part B. Make sure you mix it real well so that it's well mixed so it'll harden properly. I like to use popsicle sticks to mix with. What you want to do is you want to take the end of your bolt. You want to coat the end of your bolt. Five minute epoxy. And you want to drop it inside. Secure and then make sure it's at the proper angle. Set your skull on the edge of the table like that and let it harden. Let's fit your horns one more time to make sure that they fit on properly. Move your antlers. Make sure it pops. Okay, here's your camo light with your horns on. You pick up the five minute epoxy at any hardware store or real auto parts store. We also use a product called PC7, it's a uh, photo for the base of the antlers to fill any voids. So you start color, what you do is you mix it in even parts. Same thing you do with the uh, boxy to get one uniform color. Once you fill in your, all your voids with the PC7, you may want to wet your fingers and just smooth the area with a little bit of water. Make sure you have it nice and smooth. Let it dry. Let it dry, then you can come back and paint it if you want to match it up later on, or you can leave it the way that it is. And that's your camo light skull with your antlers.